this. Even with my, my niece, yes, I had surgery on them. But when I came in here, then, I, you know, from being at work all day, eight hours, and then coming in here, then my, my uh, knees would swell up. I said, the devil is a lie. You're not doing this to me. I will run in here harder. I will jump higher because I'm praising you, God, for what you brought me through. And I know you're doing it right now. And guess what? Boom, it's gone and it never come back again. You know, but I had like a three-week fight with that thing. Every time, you can't, you can, and it would say, you cannot dance. Won't you sit down? You're not dancing. I said, no, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I don't care how much you think you're going to do this to me. And you got to talk to that thing because it's got a voice of its own. And so do you. You talk to that thing. You're not doing to me anymore. You're going to have to get so mad at that thing. No, I am not receiving this thing. I don't care what it looks like. This circumstances is fake. You're a liar. You are. You have to get so animate within you so desperate to be what you want and say you're not doing it Satan you're not in the authority of Jesus Christ you're not doing this thing and get up and muster up and say and do it with everything that's within you if you ever got mad at anybody before use the same anger against the enemy in the name of Jesus he's got to bow it's got to go because you know what if you'll do it for yourself you're gonna do it for somebody else no, you're not touching Judy like that. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to come out of your throat. It will not stay there in Jesus' name. Boom! That's it. Then you receive it within you. If it's been spoken over you, even just like that, it's got to go. You can't stay here. And then you come in agreement with it. The word coming in agreement with the word of God. By his stripes, I am healed. I wasn't just maybe could have been it should have been I am healed you can't do this to me it's a violation you're violating the blood of Jesus don't you know who I am I'm the child of the king you can't do this get out move you're not staying you're not sticking around here hey we've run men off like that before haven't we oh yes we have I'm a sister I have no I'm not telling what you know more and if you don't go I will I ain't even like that I'm not doing it and women, come on. Because you know what? They had the wrong spirit. It's same with that. That spirit cannot violate your body. This is the temple of God. This is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Who do you think you are trying to touch me? You think I'm not that weak? That I'm not going to speak up for the temple of God? No. Somebody come in here, all kinds of mud and start tracking it up. You think we'd sit there and say, get out of here. What are you doing? You know, that same voice has to be spoken out in desperation and say, I'm going to have what I say. You know what? I'm saying that I'm healed. That's it. Boom. Period. You start feeling better because that stuff's got to get out. They're already starting to pack up. They're starting to pack up because they can't stay there anymore. And they're not your buddies. They're not your friends in there. You can't go to them and say, oh, yeah, well, you know, you're probably right. I, I am getting older and... You know, I can't do nothing. You start siding with those voices that come to you. You'll have what you think first. Because it says in the Word of God, you can have whatever you say or think. Oh, that's something right there now. It's a thought life. It's a thought. Whatever you see yourself on the inside, you're going to manifest that on the outside sooner or later. Just like these women that, you know, they feel like they want to get a man or want to have a bunch of men, and well, all of a sudden, they get hurt. And then they start going to these strip clubs, and why not talk about it because it's out there. They start going to these strip clubs, and they've been hurt so bad, they begin to gyrate and do their little thing, they start taking these men, and they begin to hurt men because they're hurt. You see what I'm saying? People that have been violated, they violate other people because of the image that was put on the inside, and because the enemy, when you're hurt, you're wounded, he can put any kind of image on the inside of you because you've been opened up. But see, God goes in there and he settles that. It says in the Word of God that he will settle himself in you. You call him into you. Jesus, I need you in these areas. I am not living like this anymore. And it's not his fault, her fault, or their fault. No, this thing is in me and I want it out. However, God in there, it's leaving me in Jesus' name and get animate about it and get animate keep on when it keeps on tracking you it keeps tracking you then all of a sudden it starts getting weaker get up in the morning you know when you're like you're kind of glazy in the morning when you get up or yeah or a little you know higher naps or whatever you want to say get up and you're like 
okay, you don't feel like doing that much. You know, she talked about yesterday. How about let's go in there and let's like lay on it, you know, make her do more work. The devil is allowed. I'm not making her do that. I'm working this under God. You talk out loud to that voice because if you don't, that voice is going to get louder in your mind and you're going to start thinking when you get at work, oh, wait a second. You know what? She does have a snitty attitude on her. You're right. See, you're starting to think and agree with just what the enemy said to you. And so therefore, then when you try to move in this spiritual realm, you can't do it. Because you've already sided with the spirit, and that spirit is taking you down a road where you don't need to be. You see what I'm saying? That's why dying to our flesh, you come alive to Christ in this spiritual realm, you're getting stronger, but you've got to line up with the Word of God. And you're reading it so much, you should know it by now, but it's like, Okay, we're, 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 wait a minute, what? you know, when you're in the midst of the battle, it's like, what? No, it's the image of Christ on the inside. I am the hill of the Lord. I am risen with Christ, sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And I command you, Satan, you're not doing this anymore. You're violating me, you're violating them. You're not doing it. You know, like they do on, on the field. You know, they, they, they do a violation. Violation, violation, no. Get out, get, get. You see them expressing their song. Get out, no, no, no. You know, they go on and on. That's why you need to be in the spirit realm. Because this ain't no pity patter. This ain't no little nursery game here. This is for souls, and number one is for yours. Because he wants you out of the race. One way toward another, he wants you out. The God is having you put in there because he has already put in us gadgets. And I thought my son just had them, but I'll tell you what, I find I got some gadgets in me. That you know what? You press a button, it gets activated, and all of a sudden, wait a minute. Oh, oh now that's what this means. This is connected to that. The, when it starts connecting together, you get a greater understanding of the Word of God. But see, the thing about it is, it, if you don't want to submit in, a, in another area, that gadget you got there, it's not going to work. You got, you're, you're walking around with all these gadgets spiritually, but if you don't submit in another area, you say, no, you know, I've been like this for so long, you know, that's a part of me. It's not a part of you because you're not taking that flesh with you. You drop that thing down, bind it up, bind the strong man in your own self. It's a strong man. It's a strong man that tries to take you out and works on you and causes you to sit down, not to pray not to fast, not to study the word because it knows it has a stronghold in you and it knows if it's stronger than you it can keep coming in your house and taking the spoils you know what I'm saying and these things want to live in a place where there's peace and there's lots of room because they want to spread out and they want to take over that land and God wants you to begin to enlarge the territory with the word of God that's already in there and make space in your soil because the seeds of the Word of God are already in there and they're beginning to come up because the water is being poured out. The rain is falling. The rain is falling. When you see rain, I'm going to tell you, it's almost